this hearing to order uh, the Endangered Species Act, which is the topic of this discussion. The Endangered Species Act was enacted to conserve species identified as endangered or threatened with extinction and to conserve ecosystems upon which these species depend. Those of us from Wyoming know the important role of the Endangered Species Act that it plays in responsible environmental stewardship. Wyoming is one of the most beautiful states in the nation. We're the home to Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks, numerous national forests, pristine lakes, scenic waterways. Our wildlife is diverse, is diverse and abundant. We have thriving populations of grizzly bears, wolves, elk, and bison, to name a few. People travel from around the world to come to Wyoming because our state's natural resources are spectacular. We in Wyoming are not alone in our natural bounty or in our resolve to conserve species within our borders. Every state in our nation works hard and invests heavily to protect the unique species of that state. States throughout the West are collaborating tirelessly with stakeholders to conserve species like the sage grouse throughout the West, the Arctic grayling fish in Montana, the El Segundo blue butterfly in California, the Colombian white-tailed deer in the Pacific Northwest. The Great Lake regions, like the West, grapples with the gray wolf. In the Southeast, specifically in North Carolina, it's the red wolf. In the Great Plains, the lesser prairie chicken. In the South and elsewhere, the northern long-eared bat. In the Northeast and Midwest, the rusty patch bumblebee. 99.4% of counties in the United States are home to at least one species listed as endangered. That's according to a recent analysis of Fish and Wildlife Service data done by the National Asso Association of Counties. Here's the problem. The Endangered Species Act isn't working today. And we should all be concerned when the Endangered Species Act fails to work. States, counties, wildlife managers, home builders, construction companies, farmers, ranchers, and other stakeholders are all making it clear that the Endangered Species Act is not working today. A major goal of the Endangered Species Act is the recovery of species to the point that protection under the statute is no longer necessary. Of 1,652 species of animals and plants in the United States listed as either endangered or threatened since the law was passed in 1973, only 47 species have been delisted due to recovery of the species. In other words, the Fish and Wildlife Service has concluded that less than 3% of the species in the United States under the protection of the Endangered Species Act have recovered sufficiently to no longer necessitate the protection of the statute. Because a doctor, if I admit 100 patients to the hospital and only three recover enough under my treatment to be discharged, I would deserve to lose my medical license. The Western Governors Association, the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies, and other stakeholder groups have been working to identify challenges with the Endangered Species Act and opportunities to make the statute work better. The Bipartisan Association of Western Gov Governors has taken on this cause because the Endangered Species Act has not been updated in any significant way for almost 30 years. Wyoming's current governor, Matt Mead, has played an especially important role by leading the Western Governors Association Species Conservation and Endangered Species Act initiative. Governor Mead has worked with other Western states to develop an Endangered Species Act policy for the WGA, including specific recommendations for improvements to species conservation and to the, entire, and to the Endangered Species Act. The Western Governors unanimously adopted the Endangered Species Act policy at the WGA meeting last June. This year, the Western Governors Association continues to lead efforts to identify consensus-based solutions to modernize the statutes, regulations, and policies to make the Endangered Species Act work better for wildlife and for people. As our committee explores the need to modernize the Endangered Species Act, um, I hope that we can emulate the bipartisan leadership that we had here on this committee uh, and that the WGA has demonstrated in this act. And when I talk about the bipartisanship in this committee, I hope we can replicate last year's bipartisan success when the entire committee joined together, Republican and Democrat, to modernize the Toxic Substances Control Act, achieving the first major environmental reform in that area in roughly 40 years. With that, I'd like to turn the ranking member, Senator Carper, for his testimony.